Hi everyone, this is Dr. Dhrumil Manik and you are watching our channel Dentistry to the Point. We make videos regarding the subjects of dentistry. So in this video, we are going to discuss about a topic that is auriculotemporal nerve syndrome. Now the name itself suggests that it is related to which now? Auriculotemporal nerve. So the syndrome which is related to auriculotemporal nerve, it is also known as phrase syndrome or you can also call it as gustatory sweating gustatory sweating means there is sweating in the pre auricular region that means the area supplied by the auricular temporal nerve mainly while consuming any food so whenever the patient consumes food he will experience sweating in the pre auricular region so the name is given gustatory sweating or phrase syndrome or you can also call it as auricular temporal nerve syndrome it was described by Bellarger in 1853 he was the first one to describe this condition now what is the reason for the development of sweating in the pre auricular region so mainly it leads due to the damage to the auricular temporal now so during any surgery of parotid gland any point parotid tumor or parotitis or you are doing any surgery of mandible resection radical neck dissection or any treatment of prognathic mandible it is going to involve parotid gland as well as the auricular temporal now so while performing the surgery if you are going to injure the nerve agar aap us nerve ko injure kar dete ho so us time pe to koi problem nahi hai but whenever the recovery phase is going to start surgery complete ho gayi ab recovery phase has started so at that time the collaterals or the auricular temporal nerve which is mainly sensory in function along with that it is also going to supply the parotid gland through its parasympathetic fibers which will result in the secretion of saliva is this much clear you have already studied this in your first year ki parasympathetic fibers from auricular temporal nerve are going to reach parotid gland which will secrete saliva right now this parasympathetic fibers are going to again regenerate and innervate the parotid gland jab bhi damage hoga but uske sath sath these fibers are also going to innervate the sweat glands of pre auricular region by fault so jo bhi auricular temporal nerve ke parasympathetic fibers hai wo innervate ho jayenge sweat glands mein in the pre auricular region which will lead to sweating while consuming food kyunki jab aap food consume karoge to saliva is going to get secreted So, क्यों सेक्रेट होंगे क्योंकि पैरासिंपेथेटिक फाइबर्स आर गोइंग टू गेट एक्टिवेटेड सो इन द सेम वे स्वेटिंग विल आल्सो बी जनरेटेड सो आई होप सो दिस कंसेप्ट इज क्लियर कि व्हाई इट इज लीडिंग टू स्वेटिंग सो ड्यू टू डैमेज टू द ऑरिकुलर टेम्पोरल नर्व सब्सिक्वेंट री इनर्वेशन ऑफ स्वेट ग्लैंड जो भी स्वेट ग्लैंड है उनमें री इनर्वेशन हो जाएगा किसका पैरासिंपेथेटिक सलाइवरी ग्लैंड के फाइबर्स पैरासिंपेथेटिक फाइबर्स ऑफ सलाइवरी ग्लैंड सो एटीओलॉजी विल बी removal of parotid tumor or ramus of mandible any surgical operations related to this two parts clinical features kya rahenge iske pre auricular flushing and sweating as i told you the patient is going to experience pre auricular flushing and sweating it is going to increase by tart food tart food matlab any citrus food or pickle or lemon like food so it is going to increase the sweating the patient may also experience pain while eating in this region profuse sweating can be evoked by administration of pilocarpine in this patient agar is patient ko pilocarpine dete ho then it is going to profusely sweat and it can be eliminated by application of atropine that means atropine can be used in the treatment of this condition right next there is one more term named as crocodile tears no crocodile tears is always almost similar बस इसमें क्या होगा देर विल बी टीयर्स फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम द आईज मतलब लेक्राइमेशन ज्यादा होगा वाइल कंज्यूमिंग हॉट एंड स्पाइसी फूड इसमें क्या था टार्ट फूड के कंज्यूम करने से देर वॉज स्वेटिंग इन द प्री ऑरिकुलर रीजन देर विल बी लेक्राइमेशन फ्रॉम द आईज राइट वाइल कंज्यूमिंग हॉट एंड स्पाइसी फूड नाउ देर इज वन मोर टेस्ट टू डिटेक्ट इफ देर इज ऑरिकुलर टेम्पोरल नाउ सेंट्रो प्रेजेंट और नॉट दैट इज माइनर स्टार्स आयोडिन टेस्ट इसमें क्या होगा 1% iodine will be coated in the pre auricular region above that a layer of starch will be coated and then the patient will be advised to eat something so whenever the sweating will be produced that color of the iodine or the solution which you have applied is going to turn into blue color that means it is going to show a positive sign of sweating or auricular temporal nerve syndrome so this is all about it is a short syndrome just you need to understand nothing to 
one of right moving on to the treatment of auricular temporal nerve syndrome so first and foremost intracranial division of auricular temporal nerve has shown effective results in the treatment of this syndrome secondly one person glycopyrrolic lotion or cream can also be used to avoid sweating till 3 days agar aapko 3 din tak control karna hai to 1% glycopyrrolic lotion or cream can be used alawa uske alawa injection of atropine or botulinum toxin or scopolamine cream for topical application can also be used in the treatment of this syndrome so this is all about auricular temporal nerve syndrome just naam yaad rakhna hai frey syndrome उसके अलावा कैसे कोलेट्रल्स बनेंगे पैरासिंपेथेटिक फाइबर्स के उसके अलावा क्रोकोडाइल टीयर्स गस्टेटरी स्वेटिंग माइनस टाच आयोडिन टेस्ट कैन बी आज इन एमसीक्यूज एंड द ट्रीटमेंट मोडालिटीज अवेलेबल फॉर दिस सिंड्रोम आई होप सो दिस इज क्लियर एंड इफ यू एंजॉय द वीडियो देन प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल एंड डोंट फोगेट टू हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू गेट रेगुलर अपडेट्स ऑफ अपकमिंग वीडियोज थैंक यू